Hello and welcome to Tax Matters. My name is Olumu Iwa Matuluko. Barika de Sala, we thank Allah for his mercies. We thank him for granting our Muslim compatriots the will and the strength to carry on throughout the holy month of Ramadan. And it is our prayer that he will reward those who made those sacrifices and that those rewards will be everlasting. We also want to commiserate with those who lost loved ones in the bomb blast at the UN building in Abuja on Friday, August 26. We must condemn in strong terms this callous shedding of blood. Haba, no man has the power to create life, and so no one has any right to take life. We must learn to table our grievances and to resolve our differences amicably. Which brings us to the topic of today's episode of Tax Matters, Tax Appeal Tribunal. Yes, the Tax Appeal Tribunal, that conflict resolution mechanism, that arbitration formula recently introduced into the Nigerian tax system to make the relationship between tax administrators and taxpayers more friendly, more cordial, and smoother. And if you watch that first installment, if you watch last episode, you will recall that we spoke to tax practitioners wanted to know whether indeed they knew that the tax appeal tribunal had taken off. And we're glad to find out that these men and women who should know, who should be the ones guiding the tax payers, know that the tax appeal tribunal is up and running. Before we move on on today's episode, let us hear from the man at the head of the Publicity and Communication Unit at the Coordinating Secretariat of the Tax Appeal Tribunal in Abuja. Well, what is the Tax Appeal Tribunal all about? Tax Appeal Tribunal is established pursuant to Section 59.1 of the First Federal Inland Revenue Service Establishment Act to adjudicate on all tax disputes arising from the operations of the various tax laws in Nigeria. So the core duty of TAT is to adjudicate, to settle disputes between the taxpayers and the tax authorities. If you cannot be able to resolve some of the issues you have with the taxpayer, with the tax authority, mm -hmm. Tax Appeal Tribunal is an opportunity, an avenue for you to come where experts who are, in, uh, who are uh, specialized in tax matters, lawyers, accountants, and ex uh, financial experts will be able to look at the facts and agree on whether your tax, your, your, the tax assessment you've been given is what you should pay. So we, on our own part in publicity and communication, we're trying to reach out to people through stakeholder education awareness, telling them about TAT and the need for them to explore the opportunity before getting access to regular courts. Okay. How expensive or how cheap is it to make use of this opportunity provided? Actually, it's, uh, generally, the tax appeal tribunal uh, is easier in terms of uh, it is, it's more, 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 uh, it's more cost effective because uh, when you come, you as a taxpayer cannot, can represent yourself. You have the option of coming personally directly to the tax appeal tribunal to file your case, to file your appeal, or you can also be represented by an accountant or a lawyer. So, in terms of uh, cost, Tax appeal tribunal is more cost effective because you you don't need to pass through the rigors and the time duration it takes you to also uh, get your cases heard is shorter. So we are dealing more with facts rather than technicalities. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. The tax appeal tribunal deals more with facts rather than technicalities. Very comforting, very reassuring. Is that how stakeholders perceive it? Let's hear some more from more tax practitioners. Tax appeal tribunals have been there in the tax laws eh, from time immemorial. Where you cannot resolve your problem at the tax office level, you have a right to appeal. You, are, you understand? You have a right to appeal. I remember in the days of Olushola uh, Kaunla and Co. and uh, tax consultancy with the Lagos State, we participated, we did some appeal for, for people. So it has been there and it has been only that people don't take advantage of it. Some people don't even know that they have a right of appeal. So it is now left for the task consultants, task practitioners to educate their clients. And that is if they don't go to the uh, quarks to come and advise them. At what point exactly should a taxpayer go to the tax appeal tribunal? Well, the issue of tax appeal, the word appeal, that means that somebody is not satisfied. If you are satisfied, there is no need for you to appeal. So how does tax appeal arise? Tax appeal may arise in a situation whereby a taxpayer is not satisfied with you know, it, uh, the uh, tax 
that has been that has been you know assessed by the tax office. And prior to 2007, as I said, the there was nothing called tax appeal tribunal. What we used to have were two bodies responsible for appeal. We used to have the value added tax, you know, VATT, value added tax appeal. We also have this body of appeal commissioners, DAC. So the two of them became merged, you know, to form the two of them. We were not using them again. In the place of these two, what we now have is tax appeal. And the provision under the FRS Act is section 59. So all the sections in the old CITA, in SCAP CC CITA, under appeal, all of them, they have now been deleted because appeal is now strictly handled under the FRS Act. Could you please share the knowledge with, your knowledge with us on the processes and procedures involved in filing for uh, filing your complaints with the TAT? The, there are tax appeal tribunal rules that states how this, uh, the processes should be filed. So basically anybody who wants to file appeal, appeals to the tax appeal tribunals must follow those rules. Uh, all the, for instance, if you are appealing, there must have been an objection to an assessment. So if you've been given an assessment and you've objected, the assessment will be part of the exhibit. The objection you tender will be part of And the refusal of the objection, all this will be forwarded. So because there must be a dispute before you go to tax appeal tribunal. If you have no dispute, there won't be a sense of going there. In that case, the, the tax appeal tribunal will not have jurisdiction over the matter. But when there is a definite dispute and you have followed at least section 58 of the Personal Income Tax Act, if uh, personal income tax is involved, then you've been given a, an assessment, you, you think it's over assessment, then you've objected following the steps, then, then there is refusal of that objection. Are you aware that the tax appeal tribunal has taken off? I, I'm aware of, of, of that and people, a few um, clients have been invited and it was not really a difficult process. It was not a really difficult process. Once you comply, once um, you are invited and you file in your, 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 your papers, um, you get fear here. How would you rate the tax appeal tribunal you have dealt with? I would say with the caliber of people that actually come, come uh, that actually make up um, the tribunal, I would say nobody will question what you get from there. You can see that the tribunal members come highly recommended. Let's hear from this man of timber and caliber. Apologies to late K. Um, by the way. My name is Kayo De Shofola. I'm a legal practitioner and I'm the chairman of Lagos Zone of the Tax Appeal Tribunal. Lagos Zone, that suggests that uh, uh, you have many zones of the Tax Appeal Tribunal. We have eight zones all over the country. Okay. Many states are grouped together under one zone, but Lagos has been a large entity from the point of view of this subject. It has a zone by itself. Uh, you have said that you are a lawyer, sir, and we know for a fact that you are a senior advocate of Nigeria. Uh, how many members do you have in your tribunal, and what are their professional backgrounds? Well, I have four other members. Two of them are lawyers of very senior ranks. One is, uh, two of them are over 20 years. One used to lecture at the Institute of Advanced Legal Studies. We have two accountants. One used to be a senior lecturer in accounting in the University of Lagos. The other is a seasoned tax administrator, chartered accountant. So the tax appeal tribunal does not have to be constituted by lawyers alone? No, in fact, it is modeled after other jurisdictions where you have at least two main complements, the judicial complement and the accounting complement, to make sure that on the bench for the tribunal, all the necessary skills and competencies are available. When did you start sitting actually? And from that time to this time, like how many cases has your tribunal handled? Well, the issue of uh, starting the Act, Federal Inland Revenue Service Establishment Act, is 2007. The tribunals were set up in 2009. The instrument came out in December 2009. So we started sitting in 2010. Okay, since we started sitting, like how many cases has your zone handled? They are all in various stages of completion, but um, I would say oh. easily maybe 
between 50 and 70, maybe. Okay, have you had any final rulings? We have. We have given decisions finally in some cases. Um, happily, both in favor of the revenue authorities and in favor of the taxpayer. Okay, that's good. It's spread. According to the um, preponderance of evidence and the law. Okay. Mm. Now, we wonder, do taxpayers or have taxpayers come forward to the tribunal to bring matters to the tribunal or has it been just the revenue authority uh, dragging as it were the taxpayers to the tribunal you know Lagos is always a pay setter we have a lot of cases from the taxpayer oh. particularly the corporate taxpayer challenging assessments and challenging various aspects of the tax authorities decisions mm -hmm. the authorities also have also come bringing defaulters to the tribunal My name is Bashir Albasu. I am a lawyer by practice. I am the chairman of the Tax Appeal Tribunal Northwest Zone with its headquarters in Kaduna. Uh, how many members do you have in your tribunal? Plus myself, we are five. That's chairman and the four commissioners. Okay. Those four commissioners, what's their professional background like? As I said earlier, I am a lawyer, and the two other commissioners are lawyers, including one lady who is also a lawyer. Two other commissioners are accountants, okay. one of whom is a professor in accountancy at the University of Benin. How many cases have you handled, and in what various stages of completion? We have handled about 13 cases. Out of the 13, we have struck out, I think, two cases. The remaining cases are at various stages. Some are awaiting hearing. Some are awaiting response from the, uh, either the, 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 the appellant or the uh, revenue department. Okay. So they are at various stages mm -hmm. of completion. Okay. When you say strike out, on what grounds do you strike out a case? Where there does not been to show an intention on the part of the appellant to pursue the case, we do not waste the time of the tribunal, neither the time of the respondent, we strike out the case. And if somebody is ready, he can now re-enlist the case. On the average, sir, uh, what... Cases are preponderant. I mean, uh, we have value-added tax, we have education tax, we have complex income tax, petroleum profit tax. Uh, what taxes do most of the cases that have come before your zone, what taxes do they uh, revolve around? In most of the cases in my zone, uh, non-payment of company tax. Oh, yeah. That is a more prevalent one, okay. where people have refused to pay company tax after they have been served. We are still making effort to educate the individuals so that they can also bring up cases against the revenue department. Mm -hmm. All the cases we have now are from the revenue department. That is from the Federal Air Revenue Service. How long on the average will it take a case from first hearing to judgment? How, how long do you estimate? No, you see, it's very difficult for one to estimate on a fixed time. Because each case comes with its own peculiarity. So in that respect, it is very difficult to uh, say it will take this or that. That's one. And the two, the speed or other of the case does not always depend on the tribunal. There are lawyers representing parties, and therefore it depends on how the lawyers handle those cases. Sometimes the lawyers, especially from the respondent part, come with unnecessary excuses. And in order to ensure...